Welcome to our last lesson. Today we're going to hear about what happened on the seventh day of creation. But let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we join with you, the earth and each other, to bring new life to the land, water, and air. We join with you, the earth and each other, to renew the forest, celebrate the seas, and sing to the stars. We join together with you, the earth and each other, to encourage justice and peace and preserve the future. We join together for the healing of the earth. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's time to get on your feet and sing and dance along with us. book of Genesis. So the sky, the earth, and all that filled them were finished. By the seventh day God finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day he rest from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and and made it a holy day. He made it a holy because on that day he rest. He he rest from all the work he had done in the creating the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Don't forget to color the creation story as we've learned about each day of creation. So we heard about the seventh day of creation and what did God do on the seventh day? He rested. So one of my activities for you is actually going to be to rest and enjoy resting, whether it's taking a nap on the couch or just go relaxing outside. But I also want us to reflect that God is with us and has always and will always be with us. God saw everything he had made and it was very good. He looked at his creation and saw that it was good. It's okay to look at a job well done and feel good about it. That's not prideful or bad. What's bad is when you brag about your work and when you look down on others because of their work. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were completed. But on the seventh day, God rested. God did a lot of work, and so he rested. God shows us that it's okay to rest. Some people think that they have to keep going all of the time, but that's actually not quite biblical. God rested, which means that it's okay for us to rest too. The problem is when people rest too much or work too much, 
they get too tired and then their work isn't as good. So you need to find a balance of work and rest. We heard that God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. This is why we are supposed to rest one day a week and keep it holy, especially by going to Mass. Are you ready for our last activities for our VBS, Caring for God's Creation? Do you still have Party Jesus with you? Party Jesus is with me. So our final activity today requires this card, Reuse and Reflect. And I want you to think about how you can reuse any of the last materials that you have from your VBS kit from us and how you can either reuse them or recycle them. Our last activity involves the pizza box and we need the pizza box for it. And I want you to recreate, I want you to draw the story of creation on your pizza box, um, or show part of the creation, or draw whatever you want. And so put it on display so it can show you and remind you of all God's marvelous works. And if you open your pizza box like this and set it like that, it makes a beautiful portrait um, for that. So you can draw whatever you want on this box and I can't wait for you to share it with me because I need ideas on what to draw on my box. I also um, want to see your coloring sheets that I sent with you. Do you send me a picture of those um, as you, we've gone through the seven days of creation and uh, any ideas that you can think of to reuse any of the materials that we've had. I have an extra activity that I posted on the VBS blog. It's optional, of course, but it's a drama. It, you can, with your family members or friends, you can recreate the story of creation. So somebody needs to be a narrator and they can have like a flashlight to read the Bible passages, all the story, the whole story that we've already heard. You can start with the lights out. You can play some like classical instrumental music in the background as we hear the story of creation. And you'll pause through the reading to allow um, other children to act out the parts. So some ideas to use special effects for it would be like when God said, let there be light, we could turn on the lights. Um, when the evening and morning were the first day and it became evening, we can turn the lights back off. Uh, when dividing the waters, you can play um, sounds of water sounds or you could spray water in front of an uh, oscillating fan and so it like sprays the actors, the kids. Um, fruits and seeds, you could uh, have an orange and peel the orange slowly, allowing the aroma to smell the room so you can smell the fruit. The sun could be another lamp that you set um, on. I have all sorts of ideas online. Um, you can play animal sounds, you can play sounds of people talking. And on the seventh day of creation, what did God do? Do you remember? Yes. He rested. So I encourage you, I invite you, I ask you to take some time and rest. Whether it's taking a nap on the couch, going outside and just laying in the beautiful weather, whatever it is to help you rest. Go rest and I hope you've enjoyed our activities for our virtual VBS. It's time to get on your feet and sing and dance along with us as we worship God. Guys, stomp your feet like that. Now let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. <laughs> Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Yes. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh, that sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back feet. 
All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. For each new day you give to me, for earth and sky and sand and sea, for rainbows after springs and showers, autumn leaves and summer flowers, winter snowscapes so serene, harvest fields of gold and green, beauty shining all around, lilac scent and robin scent, stars that twinkle high above, and all the people that I love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.